question. Yes, ma'am. Gretchen Casey, I live in Gillington Ironworks. I would just like, I'm curious, um, you know, we have about 200,000 skier visits a year. When you reference talking to multiple people about the importance of the stockade laws and changing in there, I'm curious what that number is compared to the number of skiers that we service. And as a business, it's not just to Belknap County residents. We're servicing all of those 200,000 skier visits. So do you have a, a rough idea, or can you share with us how many people you're referencing? Well, I've had people come to me spontaneously and say, the first thing I want you to do is, is not let them take away the Stockade Lodge. These are unsolicited comments. Um, I get you know, it all the time I, in the grocery store as well, like, believe me, I hear you, but are we talking like five people, 10 people, 500 people, 5,000? I, I can't give you an exact number, but it's, it's not five or 10. You know, I can tell you that when I've raced there, um, every single time I go over there, there's, there's dozens of families in there with, with children. Um, yes, they're picnicking at lunchtime. Um, so there's a lot of people that were used to using that lodge, and I know last year with COVID, they stopped using it, but I, I can be pretty well assured that they would be back there if it was available now. So I think that's something that, that people do miss. I'm not saying that I'm totally against using part of that lodge for a restaurant, but given how successful and how far into the black that we're operating right now, with a lodge that's not functional right there. I don't know that we should be um, a slave to the dollar when it comes to figuring out what's gonna be the best use of that lodge. In other words, should we, should we say, you can't use this anymore to put your, your gear on, so because we can make more money um, by using it as a restaurant? I, I think we need to look at both, because I don't, I don't want the dollar to be the only um, determinant of how we use that lodge. I personally think you're misinformed with what the intention is or the motivation for updating that restaurant as a sales manager at Gunstock. I can tell you that it would be awesome to be able to have a function space in the winter to service the dozens of company outing requests that we guess get. Right now that space doesn't exist. There's no um, private space available for, for function rentals compared to um, well, I guess almost any other mountain in New Hampshire that has that type of functionality. And I do believe there's alternatives for people that um, need to get ready closer to the lodge. I certainly understand mm -hmm. folks with disabilities, folks with small children. All of those things are very important. I mm -hmm. personally hate, and I think the hardest part about skiing is getting up to the lift. So I get what you're saying, but I think there's alternatives. So that's why I was curious about the number of people because I think that's important when we're considering the functionality of the space and the best what's in best um, interest for the business and I think all of those things should go into a, a larger discussion about the best I use of that I, have them. I think you're just misinformed on those discussions I, I think you're assuming that we haven't done the legwork I think uninformed. I don't think anybody's made any uninformed, allegations. Sorry. I just said I think it needs to be more fully discussed. Okay. Crook TV.